Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56, and welcome back to another episode of our Stationer's playthrough on Mars. So, in the last episode, we actually got the, uh, the gas fuel generator up and running, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to use it more as a backup generator. I'm not actually going to uh, use it as my main source of power. Jeez, okay. And I really don't have a whole lot of uh, oxygen and the volatiles right now, so I don't really want to use up all the gas that I, that I have. I used up quite a bit already. So let's see here. I just want this to kick on just in case, more than anything. So it's 39 degrees in here. This is all set up properly. Yeah, so then once this drains to um, past 75%, this will turn on. So I think what we need to do is we need to get the cooling system up and running. So I need to grab some more logic and stuff. And I'm also going to do this. And then I also need, let's do air control, because I also need a sensor in here as well. So we'll go do that really quick. So we'll grab a sensor um, and then some logic chips. And then there's a bunch of things that I have that I can actually uh, get rid of in my inventory. Because I have a bunch of steel sheets. So let's get rid of all of that. So we'll do railings, railings, windows. I probably don't need the pipe right now, but I might. Yeah, we'll keep that in my inventory. Okay. So what do I Alright, so I have that. Let's do logic. So I need temperature control, so I need, f let's see, probably three of these. I don't think I have enough heavy cable, or uh, enough cable. Alright, then I need two memory. One hydration critical. That's two. Let's eat and drink really quick while I'm in here. Perfect. All right. Now I need one of these. No, I need two of these. And then I'm going to grab a couple of these uh, cables just because. There we go. Alright, and then I also need a sensor. Alright, that should be everything I really need. Except for the... Uh, the air control, so. Actually, why isn't, why is, why isn't that? Yeah, it's because there's not there's not enough oxygen in here. That's why. I need more oxygen. Okay, so that should start filling up, and then these should start doing what they need to do. But all right. I was like, why is there so much air flow everywhere? All right. So we're gonna go out here. We're gonna go in here, and then I'm gonna get get all this set up.
All right, it's 39 degrees. So this did actually turn on at one point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do logic chips, batch writer and batch writer. And then we're gonna do logic memory, one, two, and then two of these. Compare units, there we go. All right, and then we need a sensor which we'll throw right here. I haven't actually wired this up yet, have I? No, I have not. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna go like this. All right, so that does turn on, that works good. And then I also need more piping to actually uh, hook up my coolant system. I completely forgot about that. Um, but since I'm committed to this already, we're gonna do this first. There we go. So I should be able to turn these on and they work. Okay, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook all this up, get all this set and then I'll do the piping. Yep, and it is starting to heat up in here. Good thing I grabbed more cable. Yeah, good thing I grabbed a lot more cable. <laughs> all right, so that's all set up. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to label everything. So this will be um, control. Yeah, we'll just do temp control. And then this will be heater. Oops. Heater. And then this one will be the heater. And then this one will be cooler. I'm trying something different too. Because if I put it in the front of the batch writer then, or in front of what the actual unit is, then maybe it'll be easier to find. All right, so that's all that. Now let's hook all this up. Um, actually, let's do this, because it's what, 297 and 293, I believe. So 293, and then the cooler would be 298, I believe is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> so this is gonna be reading the gas sensor, and it's gonna be reading the temperature. All right, and then, so this is heater. Temperature control, temperature control. If it's less than that, and if it's greater 
than that. Okay. So I can actually turn all these on while I'm doing this. And then this is going to be, this is heater. So we need heater logic compare wall heater on cooler wall cooler on all right so those did turn on which means that we just need to get everything piped all right so now what we're going to do is go out here <clears throat> And then I need to actually bring our our uh, pollutant pipe out this way. Yep. Okay. Perfect. back outside and finish piping this up although I am gonna grab some more pipe I believe just in case I need it because you never know air tank low uh oh so since the air tank is low we'll go out this door my co2 filters are also getting quite low as well There we go. Alright. And I also need to get more vending machines to get everything um, hooked up to our trader so I can just sell stuff on a whim. Right, that looks good there. That looks good there. Let's go back in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. I guess I can just do this. Kind of a waste to come in here just to place those two pipes, but oh well. All right, now I can actually just do this. I also need to hook up our uh, oxygen as well in, in here. Let's do seven. Oops. So our pollutant pipe is up and running. So it's the air coolers or the wall coolers should start working. Yep, they are perfect. So now I just need to actually uh, do this oxygen pipe here. I believe the waste pipe is not set up yet. So there's the oxygen pipe, so that should, and then I just need to get the air control set up as well. So now, I don't have nearly enough pipe to do this. Oh well. So just a little bit more pipe and then I can actually uh, get all this stuff turned on. But let's go in here and make sure our temperature control is actually working properly, at least for the most part. Yep, it is dropping in temperature, so that's good. And this is just as, yeah, this is just going to serve as backup power. Um, I kind of want to mess with the, let's see. I want to mess with the, what am I looking for this? Like with these things to get uh, like gases and fuel and water and stuff. Because you have the electrolyzer.
splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. I'm gonna have to mess with these things because these things are kind of cool. H2 combustor or combustor. So this burns fuel essentially to create water. Yeah, so I kind of want to find a way to create infinite fuel. I need more oxygen is what I need, which means I need more plants. Because the plants I currently have are not producing enough oxygen for my base. Ugh. I should be able to put decayed food in the, um, I believe it's the recycler and I can make charcoal. Not that I actually need it, but, alright. Yeah, I'm going to test that out really quick because I should be able to do that. Oh yeah, biomass. Reagent mix. Let's throw that there. It's because there's a bunch of other things in here, like just a little bit of constantin, silver, and iron. Alright, so now that that's done, I just need some more pipe. I don't think I have any more pipe, so we're going to have to go make some. Let's see. I do have a little bit of steel. Alright, so I have some steel. Now all I need is silicone which I don't have any so let's go grab some silicone really quick because I'm gonna need that to make more uh, piping perfect I'm just gonna make use all this steel to make pipe. There we go, insulated pipe. So we'll be able to make uh, 80 pieces of insulated pipe, which should be plenty in order to finish off uh, this section over here. I'm also gonna see about redesigning my base a little bit, because um, I was thinking about it, and it doesn't really make sense to have a bunch of windows right here to see everything. I mean, I don't really mind it, but as I get more rooms and stuff, it's just, I guess these are little walkways that you can use to, I don't know if I really like these walkways or not, I guess. I guess I really don't mind them too much. Like this one's useful because it has I guess I could just put ladders and stuff in, in, in each of these. Because I can't do it in this one and this one, but I could do another ladder right here if I ever need to come over in this section. And then I need to figure out why this is not working. My speaker. Alright, so let's go outside. Yeah, I need to figure out our power situation still, too. We're having some power issues still, which is kind of why I set this thing up, but I don't have enough gas. And I need to get that fixed. Perfect, so that should be all done. Now I just need 
um, logic to set up the air control in here. Which, let's see how everything's looking. Alright, so it is actually a pretty good temperature in here. I'm not going to turn this on yet. I need to go get more oxygen. Or import oxygen. That could be something I could uh, start working on. Because I have money from the trader, I can actually um, contact the, the gas trader and... Yeah, that could be kind of fun. Let's try that. Wait, is there more? Okay, I had even more decayed food. Alright, so let's do this. Turn all this off. Drink and eat really quick. Mmm, yummy. Okay. So, the trader, I need. Let's see, we need to land in. Atmospheric. So, I need steel and cop. Oh, I have a little bit of steel. I'll just be able to make the one, so that's okay. Okay. Use a kit tank, volume pump. All right, so let's let's see about this landing pad. Um, gas output or input. Oh, I just need a volume pump in order to build it, huh? Well, good thing I have a bunch of those. I have five of them. <laughs> well, I need more steel. Alright, so I have one of those. I'm going to have to go and make some more steel here really quick too. Which is okay. So this is a gas input. And then we have a gas output. Because I think I'm going to delete this. I guess I could have turned to this even. So what if I do I guess it doesn't really matter. Guess output. Could do it like that. Yeah, because then I can do... Let's grab this, put this in here. Okay, um, and then I can actually hook this up to our heavy cable and then hook it up to um, our pipe network. And 
and then gas what well, this is gas output or input yeah so this is gas output and then I can put a gas input here not I don't think I would ever really need a gas input unless I want to sell gas but uh, this is the one I would rather have as of right now so how this would work is this pipe would probably go because it would come through like this is how I would have it so I need more piping I also need more steel not really for another uh, of those landing pads but just more steel in general since I'm inside I guess I can actually start hooking this stuff up for a minute The only downside is that I think this gas is extremely hot when it comes out of here. So I would have to find a way to cool it down before that. Alright, so let's go back outside. Good thing I grabbed as much as I did. Alright, so I'm going to delete this right here. There's really no need for me to have that. Alright. Get rid of you. We'll throw you there. And then we'll grab... Oh, my battery's low. Oh, no. see something here really quick everything in here looks pretty good negative six. okay that is extremely cold that's very good very good though what's this at 907 it is starting to turn up you know what I could do is I could write some I could write some logic so this will um, only keep a certain amount of pressure in here so this actually heats up a little bit faster. There we go. Doesn't look great but now I just need a little two more pieces of flooring and then this section should be pretty much done. Because I, I, I really don't need an airlock here and an airlock over here. So, yeah, this will just be like this. In order to keep this gas extremely cold, though, I could put a bunch of uh, the radiators on here with a volume pump that actually... Yeah, probably a volume pump that will we'll pump all the gas from here into our system once it reaches a certain temperature. So maybe that's what I'll do as well. And I can actually let this guy go. I don't think he's actually doing anything. Oh no. This is the gas guy. Okay. I'm going to keep him here actually. And test this out. And actually to, to test it out. I think what I'm going to do is I need a turbo pump. Because I kind of want to set that up right now. Before I actually do anything else. So, 
Oh yeah, I took the mixer. I was like, wait, why is that incomplete? So let's do... There we go, let's do that. And then I need to get a turbo pump. I wish they really, I really wish they wouldn't have changed the, uh, the volume pump and the turbo pump because it just doesn't do anything now. Like, there's barely move any sort of gas. Alright, so I need gold, copper, steel, and electrum. I need steel, which means I have to go out and make more steel. Oh, that's fine. Alright. So, I have plenty of... Alright. I'm going to do... One, two, three. Perfect. There's nothing else in here, is there? Nope, there isn't. Alright, how's all this doing? These filters are looking pretty good. The nitrogen filters are just starting to get low, though. The pollutant filters are good. The volatile filters are still okay. All right. We have steel. Let's go back in here and make a turbo pump. Alright, so we'll throw that in here. I don't need the silver. What else do I need? I need gold, copper, and electrum. There's the electrum. And I need gold and copper, which is all in here. Throw the remaining steel in there. Alright. So now, what we're gonna do... Is we're going to... I guess I can do it right here. That's going to be loud and annoying, but I guess I could do it out here. Uh, we'll see how this works. Worst case um, scenario, I move it from here to outside if it gets too loud for whatever reason. Alright, so that's that. Now we're going to grab our logic chips, which... I'm gonna need more anyway, so we're, we're gonna go grab some gold and copper. <coughs> oh, all right. Go back inside, make some logic chips. I've been meaning to um, start coding and stuff and uh, doing like I, the IC10 chips, but I just haven't done it yet. I kind of like the logic chips for whatever reason. We're at 40. Eric, the power is starting to go up. Um. I think, it, I think it's just the morning though, so I think we're still doing okay. I need to go check our plants too. Alright. 
so let's see here. Doesn't really matter where I do this because I have. Yeah, I have a logic right here. I don't have the heating and cooling set up here yet. So what I'll probably do is place. Doesn't really matter where I place them. Probably on the ceiling in case I want to decorate like the floor or something. That's why I kind of need to get those other chips so I can start doing the code. So then I can just place one chip and it's done. Alright, so let's do... Do reader, logic writer. And throw a memory right there, because you only need one one side. Alright, and then we'll go and grab the, the logic processor so then I can actually compare everything. Let's do this instead. So if I have the logic processor right here, and then this guy, I can place, you know, anywhere else. I, I could just place it like over here or something. Something like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to need more cable. Good thing I have more cable. Okay, we'll do that. Oops. There we go, something like that. <laughs> I have just enough cable, it looks like, too. So. And now we're going to label everything. So this is going to be, I guess, gas input. Gas input. We'll copy that. Alright, and then the temperature is going to be, let's just do 298. Alright. So, the logic reader. Oh, I need a, um. Hydration critical. Okay, 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 hang on. There. I am hydrated. Okay, um, I need a pipe analyzer is what I need. I need two iron. Good thing I have 302 iron here. Alright, there we go. So we'll do that. Okay. 
So I actually need to wire up these two devices as well. There we go. And then we need to increase it to 100 and it's gonna go this way. Okay, perfect. I don't really need to label these, but I'm gonna anyways. There we go, okay. Now I can actually set this up properly. So, inward is going to be gas input. Gas input pipe analyzer. No, seriously, where, why can't I? Oh, that's a logic writer, that's why. Oh, never mind. Wow. There it is. I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm smart. <laughs> so we need logic reader. If it's less than logic memory, then logic. Com no, nope, we need gas input. Logic compare. Output is going to be. And this will turn on. Let's see, I could also turn program it so when there's nothing in here it turns off. Yeah, because that's going to get annoyingly loud if, it, if that just stays on like that. So I guess I could put this stuff out here. That would be one way to solve it. Well, maybe that's what I'll do because I really don't want to hear that the entire time. As much fun as that sounds. All right. So we're going to go outside. And our batteries are getting low again. So what we'll do is we'll have the volume pump here. And then this will go right there. Uh, 
There we go, something like that. And then I can actually label this again. There we go. Oh yeah, I have plenty of uh, coil. Okay. So then what we're going to do... Alright, now I have to actually reprogram this. To compare turbo pump so you can still hear it but it's extremely muffled so that's okay all right perfect so that's gonna use up all of our uh, power <laughs> if that stays on like that so I'm gonna see if I can't figure out a way to um, have it turn off when there's no gas in there. That's kind of why the coating is extremely nice. But that's kind of a nice little uh, thing as of right now. So now I can actually test that out. Um, I need some radiators. Yeah, that's dropping rather quick. All right, so let's do Golden steel. Do I have any radiators on me? I thought I had some somewhere. Or maybe I didn't. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. So let's just make, um, let's make five to start with. Or actually, I can only make so many, because I, I only have so much gold. Alright. Let's go grab these, let's go outside. And then we are actually going to buy some gas. I'll probably buy oxygen, is what I'll do. Let's see. Can shed or gain heat. Radiating heat in vacuums. I don't think it matters which one I do. We'll just do these ones for now. All right, and then I need to wire this up, so. Let's see, my heavy cable is right here. You know what? See if that works. All 
There is a power, right? Or is it just the uh, the data? Hmm. Well, let, let, let's test it out. Wait, what do you mean the lamp? Oh, there it goes. Um, so O2. They have a hundred. Nope, not that. One hundred. Oh, forty. That's it? That wasn't a whole lot, as far as I can tell. Sold out, okay. Um, let's do volatiles. Dirty volatiles. bunch of pipes uh Yeah, so I think it's our uh our main waste pipe That should start going down. I hope. Alright, you guys need to turn off. There it goes. Now it's dropping. I think I, 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 sh I should have had this set so when it only reaches... Uh, goes below a certain point these will turn on. Alright, let's see, how's our oxygen doing? Alright, that is increasing nicely. Alright, yeah, so our trader, we have successfully uh, bought pipe, or bought pipe, bought gas from them. So this is actually working really good. That's just annoying. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna have this guy depart. He's been here for long enough. And gone. God, that's cool. Okay, so I think everything else is good. I need to figure out our power situation. Yeah, this is completely just drained. That was supposed to turn on and be kind of a backup power source. So, okay, so stationary battery, charge. That's less than logic memory. And then logic compare, gas fuel generator on. That did not turn on. I mean, this is going to burn through our fuel and stuff extremely fast, but it is a nice backup source of power. I 
All right, and then, so this is working perfectly. This just needs to actually work now. Yeah, this is getting hot in here. I'm going to have to figure out a way to actually cool this down more. Because I believe it's 50 degrees is what it uh, caps at when it stops working. I guess I could set like a... I could do something so once the temperature gets below a certain temperature it kicks on because I need it cold in here but not extremely cold so hmm because these wall coolers aren't going to be able to keep up I guess I could do like a passive cooling system. That could work. I'd have to get radiators and stuff and then um, some valves so it only, uh, when it gets too hot, it'll let cold gas in here. That is something I could potentially do. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, figure that out because I passive cooling would be a lot better, especially since my um, Hunger, my, my coolant is a, like negative 78 degrees Celsius, which is extremely cold. All right, negative 64 or ne negative 61. Yeah, this should start to actually, uh, oh yeah. So that's dropping nicely. I kind of want to set it up to where, uh, yeah, I'm going to write some more logic and stuff. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. First things first, I need to eat and drink. There we go. All right. That's good there. I'm going to have to make some more uh, soup here pretty soon too. So, that is starting to drop. That's because the sun's going down. That's not good. Um, let's see, I need one of these. There we go. Okay. So I need one of those because I, I need to get this all set up over here. So a passive cooling system would be good. Because I could potentially get rid of the wall coolers and then just use the logic that I have in here for the passive cooling system. So that is an option. I would need a couple of pipe analyzers though. Hmm. Let's do one more thing of logic just in case.
Let's see. I need at least two of these, which means I need some more gold. that I have one pipe analyzer in here so I'm gonna test this out turn our filters back on I guess turn our suit back on so first things first I want to get this set up so it's gonna be similar to what I did over here um, it's gonna release the gas into our system um, and keep only 15 um, mega or MPA of uh, gas in here just to try to keep it uh, heated more efficiently mm, let's do that and this Actually, all I need is a back pressure regulator. I don't actually need the logic for that, so. I think I have a back pressure regulator somewhere. Speaking of, I need to get rid of this waste. There we go. Alright, our power is dropping very quick. Let's see, do I have, I do, I have two of them, I only need one. Alright, so let's get rid of that. this back yeah there would have to be more uh I guess I could do a volume pump here Here, let's try this. Let's see, what do I have here? So, let's see, we have a logic reader. Pipe, pipe analyzer filtration. Less than memory. Yeah, so if it's less than three, yeah, okay, so then those turn on. So I guess I could, I could just keep it on indefinitely. Oh, I have, oh, that's right, because th th it's on two separate circuits. Okay, that's why. So I guess what I could do is I could just test this out really quick and see if it'll work. Um, I have too much stuff in my inventory. So let's try this. Ooh, that works nice. There we go, now it's dropping. The only downside is that gas is going to get really hot. So 
So I could probably set up some... Yeah, we're going to turn that off. That's, that's getting very... Well, there goes our power. Okay, yeah, so that's getting really hot. I need to figure out our power situation. So that's kind of why I have this cable here. There we go. That'll eat through our uh, coal generator, but that's fine. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do... Because that is dropping. That should cool it. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to write logic. So when the temperature drops below a certain point, this will turn on. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll write that logic right here. Good thing I have it. So I just need pipe analyzer. That's all on this side over here. I guess I could. Uh oh. Um, we're gonna turn you off because that's just wasting gas at this point. So something blew. Why did that happen? Not sure why that blew le like that. Okay, that's very, very hot. There's liquid in the pipe. Well, that would explain why it blew then. But it's not a whole lot of liquid pollutant, though, is the thing. So we're going to turn these ones on and see if that happens again. Is basically once this so that's turned on, okay. Yeah, so once it reaches thirty MPA, these vents should turn off. I'm guessing that's what happened. They just didn't turn off and the pipe blew. And turn off. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Whoa. Wait, what? 
Oh, that's why. It's reading the wrong pipe. All right, um, turn off, turn off, turn off, pipe analyzer. Uh-oh, okay, I see what the issue is. This is on the wrong network. So, what we're going to do... Yep, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, so pipe analyzer, okay. Oh, uh, this is bad. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That should fix the issue. So, pipe analyzer, pressure, re re logic reader vents is less than memory, then this will turn on. Okay. Whew. So, that explains why this pipe burst over here. So, yeah. Why did this one burst? Dang it. Although I did witness that one blowing up. That was kind of cool. Alright, so let's make sure this works. Six. Seven twenty nine and thirty. Perfect. All right, let's just get all this stuff out of here. Because if I want to program this properly, what I need to do, let's see, where's my flooring at? Here it is. Okay. All right. I think this is set up. Okay. So this is good to go. Yeah, so basically, this will just stay on forever. I need to set it so... Oh, man, I lost all of my pollutant. Oh, that sucks. Guess it is what it is, but... I should be able to turn this on now make sure nothing all right so that's increasing that's getting extremely hot 21 degrees celsius yeah basically once this reaches a certain yeah well once this gets down to 15 it'll stop condensation is happening in the pipe 
Let's see here. We have temperature, volume, volume of liquids. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out because this is gonna end up bursting this pipe here. Which is why I had it actually on this one, I I, I believe. Yeah, so that's why I did that the way I did. So we're gonna move this back. Turn those off. Okay, good. Yeah, then once this drops below, which I don't know if it will or not, but. Alright, this is just about there. Temperature is increasing, which is fine. All right, and that pipe's almost empty. All right, so I'm gonna leave this how it is for now. Um, I think for the most part, I kind of fixed everything. All right, I've, oh, there it is. I was like, I have one more I have to play somewhere. Yeah, so that's almost done, okay. And then this is just about finished here. That's extremely hot. So that's looking good there. We're starting to get more liquids. There we go. Get all the liquids out of this pipe here, if I can. All right, so that's dropping. And that's dropping. That's increasing. So I think we're OK. How are my filters doing? I have so much reagent. I'm gonna have to get some more nitrogen filters here pretty soon. I think I got this to, for the most part, condensation is happening in the pipe. There shouldn't be any condensation happening because of how I have this set up here, but. All right, are, are you done? There we go. So now this should heat up a little faster for our uh, our gas. All right, I think we're good. I think that um, is for the most part kind of settled a little bit. And now we need to actually go back into our um, fuel generator room and get that f fixed and figured out. Yeah, so we had a couple of pipes blow on us, but. All right, I'm gonna have to make some more tomato soup here pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah, then once my system settles, um, this should start to... Yeah, the only downside is that with this turned on like, like this, 
I guess what I could do is just, instead of having this go into our system, I could just put a vent here. Maybe that's what I'll do so it doesn't mess with this. So I'm going to turn this off for now. It'll increase the pressure, but I might just place a, um, a normal vent right here just to vent it um, once this goes over 15 MPA, similar to how I have this. Maybe that's what I'll do. All right, I can always uh, set it up so it's a higher temper or a higher pressure too. Um, what don't I need on me? I don't need the steel frames. Let's get rid of the pressure regulator and the digital valve. The rest of this I'm gonna, well, I, I don't need you. Just one thing of steel sheets is plenty. Okay, and then let's go grab a vent. Because, you know, I have four of them. Ooh. Okay, so what we're going to do, filter low, um, I'm down to one filter. So yeah, I'm not, I'm going to remove that. I don't actually need this right here. I really don't need any of these now, now that I think about it. What was that? Oh, let's see. So we'll do this. We'll throw that here. Um, remove, remove, remove. And then we're going to replace with just like that. All right. Ooh. <laughs> That's, that's warm. Went from negative 38 degrees Celsius to a whopping 15. There we go. Okay. So... Something like that. Okay. And then because I'm anal, what we're going to do is actually do this. It doesn't really matter to color code it like that, but that's what I'm going to do. All right. So that should solve that issue, because as this heats up, the pressure will increase, which will, let's actually do it like, um, we're going to do, we'll just do 20,000, there we go, so we'll do that, okay. We'll do something like that. And then how's the rest of our system doing? All right. I think this is just to see what's in here. Okay, so now this is working as it should. Okay, I think I think I, this area is fixed. 23, 21 degrees Celsius. All right, and we are, we do actually have some oxygen in, in our system now, which is amazing. We have some volatile. Okay, so that so far is so good. And that's increasing in temperature. So, okay, I think we're for the most part doing okay. I can actually get rid of a lot of these radiators on here and actually use the radiators in our uh, fuel generator room. There we go. Alright, 
so let's go in here and I have the piping I have the radiators so for this because it's 24 degrees in here let's do the piping I need a yellow pipe. There we go. Cup <laughs> got a yellow pipe. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so there's a passive cooling system that kind of loops around well actually let me do passive cooling and then it'll connect to our waste our uh, our waste pipe here I could have it because regardless of how I do this it'll uh, it'll cool it really really fast let's just do this so it'll do something like this perhaps so then I'll have radiators on here to cool it. I'll have to have a pipe analyzer. I'll probably have a pipe analyzer here with like a digital valve or something there, which is what I can do. I'm actually gonna have to get all the gas out of here first. Uh, yeah, out of this pipe. Two eighty five. Yeah, that's fairly cold. Although it, it is increasing in temperature, not sure. Well that that's because there's liquid in the pipe. Who's texting me? I'm gonna turn that down. There we go. Yeah, so there's liquid in the pipe, which is hmm. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because the minute I turn this on, it's it's gonna get extremely uh Yeah, so let's try this really quick. So it's actually not that cold in here. Carbon dioxide? Why is there carbon dioxide in here? There shouldn't be any carbon di- what? Alright, we have an issue. There should not be any carbon dioxide in our pollutant pipe at all. Uh oh. Something's wrong. Something is very, very wrong here. Um, probably because of this right here. Yeah, CO2.
so in order why is there unless there was li liquid co2 all right we're gonna turn you on get all of that co2 out of here because that explains why this is heated up the way it is All right, so that is dropping. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's because I had that turned off. Oh well. So this should start. Dro yeah, there it goes. That's actually dropping fast. Okay. Yeah, because how I had this before, it was working fine. It was just taking the liquid out of this waste pipe here, which is should should have just been the liquid pollutant. There shouldn't have been any other gas in here. But it is uh, basically sucking out all of the CO2 in here, so that's good. So, once all the CO2 is out of here, the temperature should start dropping. Um, since this is my coolant pipe. I kind of wish I would have used something else as coolant. Like nitrogen would have been a perfect one to use as coolant. I guess I could always switch it up, but that would be a lot of re remodeling. <laughs> and I don't know if I really want to do that. Alright, so on the plus side, we are going to have more pollutant than CO2 in our pollutant tank. Yeah, it's sucking out all that uh, CO2 quite nicely. And this should start dropping in temperature here pretty quick, I'm hoping. Alright, so our system is working actually really nice. There we go, now it's starting to drop. Yeah, it's the CO2, which is what was causing the issue. Which is why the radiator wasn't doing anything over here. So, let's see, while I'm out here, let's go grab a digital valve. Let's see, how are you doing? I think you're doing okay. We actually have oxygen, that's great. All right, so a digital valve. We'll grab that. I don't think I need anything else as of at least not right now. Um, because I guess what I could do is I could also grab a pressure regulator as well. And only keep so much pressure in that uh, coolant pipe once it's an actual coolant pipe because it's not a coolant pipe right now although it is I'm not sure exactly what's happening here yeah I, I just need to suck out all that uh, CO2 so I'm just gonna keep that on for now Okay, let's go back in our fuel generator room. 
So this is going to go right here, I believe. And then um, we're only going to keep a certain amount of pressure in here. Or... Probably a, I probably need a volume pump actually, because then once it gets, uh, the temperature gets down to where it needs to be, it just sucks out all the gas in here. Maybe that's what it needs to do. All right, so let's do this. All right, we'll do that. I think I'm gonna do this right now though to get all the gas out of this pipe. Actually, I should get a volume pump now that I think about it, just to be on the safe side. All right, so let's do this. All right, yeah, let's go grab a, a volume pump. That's going to make more sense. And then... Filter low. Filter is at 70%. We still have some time. So I need a volume pump, which... I'll grab one. I don't need the pressure regulator, so I can put that back. I like how I can just like throw stuff. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything else I really need right now. I don't need another pipe analyzer as far as I know. If I need one, I can always go make another one. All right, so let's go back in here. I want to get my passive cooling system up and running. All right, so we're gonna place a volume pump there. Hydration critical. Hydration is always critical. Um, the only downside is that I don't have enough cable. Well, actually, oh, I did have enough cable. All right, so let's do that. All right, get all of that gas out of here. I feel like I just swapped my air tank out. Why is it so low all, all of a sudden? I wonder what the temperature is in this gas pipe here. I, I can't read it. Oh well. All right, so that is sucking all the gas out of here, which is what I need to do. And then I'm going to write logic. So once the temperature in here is a certain point, it'll turn this on and suck all the gas out of here. All right, so there's no gas in here right now, so that's good. Okay, so... And then I need to figure out what to, but this one I could just keep the way it is. I actually don't really need this one right here to do that, but I guess I could figure it out. I could just move this logic right here and kind of do the same thing. That sounds interesting. Filter low.
Hmm. All right, so let's go take care of our basic needs first. Um, put this back in my inventory. I don't think I have anything else in here right now. Okay. I also need to swap my air tank out since apparently I'm getting really low on air. Not entirely sure how because I thought I just swapped it out. Alright, so that's going up nicely. That's actually dropping. Hello there. How are you doing? So, all right, so that's actually working quite nicely. Um, the temperature is dropping in our pollutant pipe. Let's make sure the majority, yeah, so the majority of the CO2 is out of here now, so that's good. All right, so let's go back and actually eat and drink some food really quick. Or I guess drink some water and eat some food. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Anti-critical. That's about five degrees Celsius. I guess what I could do is I could place the uh, the air tank canister from here inside the bay so it actually is room temperature. I guess I could do that. I actually need a different air canister. Yeah, because... Uh-oh. Something blew. What? Why am I having so many issues all of a sudden? Like, I don't get it. I haven't really had any issues. Hmm. Yeah, the fog's actually kind of cool. Not entirely sure why I had fog. Because it shouldn't have, uh... I think I'm going to have to do it kind of how I had it um, set up before. Condensation is happening. Yeah, it's, it's liquid in the pipe. But it should be getting sucked out into our system here. All right, yeah, so that's dropping quite nicely. It yeah, it should be getting sucked out into our system here. I think what I'm going to have to do is do it how I had it before. So if I just do that. There, that should at least fix it temporarily. We'll just do something... Yeah, because then basically this is just a closed system. The reason I had that set up like that was because I had my my uh, furnace gas um, link, linked to our system here. But since I kind of set it so it's its own separate system now, I should just be able to have this pipe. Yeah, because now there's like no liquid in this pipe here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And that's dropping. So... Well, actually, that's somewhat confused. Yeah, it's mainly just the pollutant. Like, it's really easy to get um, 
liquid pollutant, which is what I'm using as my coolant. I really wish I uh, was using something like the nitrogen, because that would have been way easier, but oh well. Let's see. And I saw, now I have a bunch of CO2 in here again. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to get the uh, the liquid pollutant out of here. I'm not sure why it's bringing CO2. It should just be bringing the liquid and turning that in, into the gas. I think I have that set up right. Yeah, because we have... Condensation and expansion. So let's do condensation allows for the removal of any liquids from a gas pipe into a liquid pipe. Only allows liquids to pass in one direction. So I have a question. If it only allows liquids, why is there um, CO2 gas in here? Because I don't have any liquid CO2. Or what if I turn you off? That's increasing, which is to be expected. Let's see what happens now. There's all right, there's nothing in here. Now it's just pollutant. Okay. We have just pollutant in here, so there shouldn't be any CO2 able to get in here. It takes only liquids and turns it into gas. I thought it was just um, normal CO2. I didn't think it was actual liquid CO2. I'm not sure what temperature you have to get to get liquid CO2, but if that's the case, hopefully that'll actually... Yeah, I was kind of messing around with a lot of different things, which is probably what happened. Again. Alright, so... The nice thing is that our coolant pipe is actually dropping very fast. Alright. So, I have about 10 minutes remaining of the stream. Let's actually go and try to set up our passive uh, coolant system in here so I can turn on this fuel generator. Because I would really like to use it. Alright, so let's do... I'm just going to open this up. Watch for the tempo of the liquid pollutant not to freeze. Yeah. I, I know it has to get to an extremely low temperature to actually freeze, but... Alright, so there's nothing left in this pipe here. So I'm going to turn this off. I just want to see if our system here works. So that is working. Okay, so that's actually uh, getting rather... I guess what I can do is I can kind of set this up a little bit. So the cooler... Alright, so basically this is here with this greater than logic memory. It basically just has to turn on this uh, this digital valve here. That's all it has to, to really do. Let's turn that off.
Oh my god, really? Cooler. Logic compare. Digital valve. On. It's okay, right, so it's actually working. All right, that worked beautifully. Yeah, so that worked. That worked great, okay. So it's kind of a temporary setup right now. I'm gonna actually uh, make it so once it drops below a certain, or I, I, I guess once the temperature in here drops to a certain point, it'll suck all the gas out of here. Uh, I, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Because once it drops to a certain point, this will turn off. Because then I still have these coolers going too. So that actually worked really, really well. I just want to make sure it uh, turns off. It's actually going pretty good. I have this kind of figured out. Um, I'm just messing with my cooling system. What I was having an, an issue with is the wall coolers weren't able to keep up with the gas generator. So when this would turn on, it would get extremely hot uh, a little bit too fast for my coolers to keep up. So I came up with kind of a passive system here. I really don't need this pipe, this pipe analyzer, but I kind of like having it makes it look more complicated than it actually is. Alright, I just want to make sure that this works. Because once it reaches about 25 degrees Celsius, that digital valve should turn off. Perfect. And then this should go to room temperature and it did so that worked absolutely perfect so yeah I mean passive cooling systems are kinda of fun for whatever reason I kinda of like the wall coolers um, you, you guys can turn off now oh yeah I completely uh, made the wall coolers redundant with this passive cooling system so I could actually just delete the wall coolers altogether now that I think about it um, I'd rather get another pipe here with the radiators I'm gonna have to move this yeah that's exactly what it is um, they just I just like the way that they look more more than anything I mean, if I really wanted to get them working in this one, I could set up another thing of logic here, but I, I would actually just need another batch writer is all I would need to actually get these wall coolers going, because I really don't need another section of pipe here with radiators. And I have enough logic IOs where I can actually do it, so just because I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm I've always kind of been that way. All right, and I need I don't have any access cable in here, so let's go outside and make some more cable really quick. Yeah. I have that weird compulsion too. All right.
Yeah, that's kind of what... I would hate to say it, but I kind of did that too. Um, right here. Which, I really don't like this. I, I was almost thinking about moving that battery charger like over here or something. I'm not really using that one. I put a big one over here, so this looks normal. But this one over here, I'm probably going to end up just getting rid of. It was just more of a temporary thing, but yeah, I absolutely hate the way that looks. It just looks wrong. Uh, why did I come off oh, cable? Yeah, I just kind of pretend it's not there. <laughs> It's really a no oh my god, I didn't actually need cable. Alright, we're just gonna do this. There we go, I had plenty. Alright, then I have uh, only a few minutes left, so I'm gonna uh, get our wall coolers uh, LinkedIn over here and then I'm probably gonna call the episode there we go all right there's that there's that um, what we're gonna do is wall cooler batch writer this is completely pointless to have but oh well Logic compare, wall cooler, on. Yeah, it's completely pointless to have this one right here, but I kind of would like this wall cooler to, to at least work if it gets too hot in here. So that's kind of why I did that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to call this episode here. We did quite a bit, I feel. Um, we got all this figured out, so then when this turns on, it'll heat the room, in which case this will turn on and cool down the room. So we shouldn't have this turn off for any reason other than the fact that it charged this battery to where it needs to be. Um, so I think that's good there. I just need to actually decorate it and place stuff in here. So our gas fuel generator should be working, and we have the trader up and running as well, so I can actually trade and import gas which will be very useful considering I was kind of running low on oxygen and volatiles. Granted, I can just go mine it, but we have this all set up here so we can import gas. Um, I need another piece of flooring right there, but let's see. I kind of got this set up to where I like it. Um, I know that these pipe he he um, heaters aren't the most efficient thing, but I don't mind it. I mean, I've been running off this one thing of gas this entire game, so I really don't mind it. It's working uh, for what I need, need it to do. I would like to set up a, a proper advanced furnace at some point, but for now this is plenty. Um, did I finally get all the CO2 out of here? For the most part. And there's no liquid CO2 in here, so I think for the most part our system is pushing out all the CO2 so we should be good um, once that finishes what it's doing um, this is good here I'm gonna have to replace all these filters at some point but yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you all in the next one thanks for watching